join us on YouTube where we're being live streamed. And it, just waiting a second for that. We have a lot to talk about with you, a lot of events coming up. Want to answer your questions? We have a new Join version us. of the Quanta Capsule. On YouTube, where we're being. There we go. Okay, we got that. Fun times. Okay. Now, let's get to the website, geniusbiofeedback.com. I want to point your attention for today to our blog. And so if you go to our learn section of the menu, we have a lot going on here. First of all, our reinstall links. If you ever need to reinstall the Genius, make sure you save this link. It gives you the um, Genius Apple and all the different um, download links. So you can download the Genius again. Remember, if you ever change devices, you want to make sure that you log out. Log out of your Genius and then log back in on your new device. Always remember to log out. Now, I also want to call your attention to our blog page. So on the blog page, you can check out all the different blog posts that we've had, the different classes, new resources, guides, ebooks, things like that. For today, you can click on what today's weekly training is about. Everybody's welcome to the weekly training, right? So on this blog post, we have the handout for today. Today's handout, we're repeating a guide that we've given before, which is our new Aura Guide. So if you didn't see it before, you can check out this new Aura Guide and download it. And everything is available because sometimes it's hard to keep posting everything into the chat. Everything is available on that blog page. So you can download this now. You may have gotten this before. It's still the same. We haven't updated it, but just so you have it, so you know about it. Now also at geniusbiofeedback.com, I keep going back to the page, geniusbiofeedback.com, we also have our events page. So if you go to the events page and you check out the calendar on the events page right here, you're going to see a lot of events going on. So let's go over a few of those. Today's our weekly training. Tomorrow, we're going to have a prayer circle. So prayer circle isn't necessarily related to the genius, although we may, put the, we may use the genius for intention. What the prayer circle is for global healing, if you yourself are in a state where you want us as a group to pray for you, if you want to hear some inspirational spiritual material from Christianity and other faiths that's really non-denominational, if you just want to come join, be part of um, community, sign up for Prayer Circle. It's completely free, and we are going to pray for each other, pray for the group, pray for global healing, pray for abundance, whatever it is, you can request whatever prayers you would like. And we're using the power focused intention like Lynn McTaggart talked about in the power of eight. We're using the power of group intention to pray and uplift and also connect with spirit. So tomorrow, Valentine's Day, the power of love, we're going to be doing that at 10 o'clock Pacific time, one o'clock Eastern time. It's going to be every other week. Now on Tuesday, we also have our terahertz training. So if you're new to terahertz or if you've recently gotten the core box or the wand from us or from anywhere, you're welcome to join. We're sharing all about Chinese meridian points and different methods and steps that you can do in order to make the most of your terahertz technology. On Wednesday, those who are part of the business membership will be talking all about group um, classes, how to form a group utilizing your genius. So if you're part of our business membership or you'd like to join our business membership, you can check out the calendar. Make sure you're at our, the live class on Wednesday when we're talking all about creating a group, running a group program with your genius. Thursday is our frequency of 528 podcast and this week we will be um, working on volunteers. So if you want to come and do a scan, and we'll also be talking about remedy plates, we'll be talking about the news of the week, strange things in the sky, all types of things that we can only talk about on Rumble. We'll also be doing a genius scan, and we'll be talking about the accessories of the genius. So if that's something I know Karen McDonald had a request, so we'll talk about accessories, wristbands, remedy plates. We'll do a, a, a scan actually at the podcast. So if you'd like to come up Hang out on the podcast. You can do that on Thursday. Then on Friday, 
there's the library discount club. So if you're part of our library discount club, you got a free library this month called our HUMAP library. And it's all about testing the metabolites of hormones in order to see where your hormonal balance is. So that is an energetic version of an actual test called the HUMAP test. We're going to talk all about that test and then how to use the library itself. So every month with our library discount club, you can get 20% off all libraries, a $97 coupon to use each and every month, as well as a bonus library, which we curate and create just for you before we launch it to the entire community. And we also do a bonus class. So in the bonus class, we'll be talking all about hormones, how to balance hormones, and that's going to be on the 17th. So there's a lot going on in it. It just gets better and better, actually, for the following week, starting on Tuesday, February 21st. And you can actually join right here. So on February 21st, we're going to be doing three days of Genius Basic Training. So it's the learning intensive, the mini course. It's an opportunity to learn about energy, frequency, how to talk about the genius, how to use the genius. And we're going to be giving homework. It's going to be Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday from noon to two each and every day, noon to two Pacific time, three to five Eastern time. And we're going to give ex we're going to give exercises, homework, everybody can join if you have somebody who's interested in the genius we're going to have specials and bonuses so it's tuesday wednesday thursday it's really for beginners but everybody who's a practitioner that wants to learn the basics again if you're an expert you want to go back to the basics you can join right here it's going to be tuesday wednesday thursday for two hours a day from noon to two pacific it's all going to be recorded and then we're going to distribute the recording basically this is an opportunity to get some recordings of the new version it's also a great opportunity to share frequency and energy basic concepts so that we can understand the concept why the genius exists everything is energy everything in your body is energy everything in your body is influenced by energy and frequency around it you can um, intentionally shape shift that energy and that is part of where the genius comes in so we want to talk all about those basics what the genius is, why it exists, how to use the genius, and then give very basic exercises. This is how you get started on day one. This is exactly what you do. Step one, step two, step three. Now, tomorrow, you're going to do these steps. So if you're new, you're still confused, come to this class. If you're an expert, but you want to talk about it more elegantly and eloquently to other people, come to this class. If you have somebody who wants to get the genius, have them come to this class. You can sign up right here on the events calendar. So make sure you bookmark this calendar. This never changes and you can always check back. Yes, all the links to Prayer Circle and Genius Intensive, you go to the events calendar and then the links are on the calendar. All the links are on these buttons. Join our weekly training. You're going to get a link. Okay, so we made it really super easy. That's why I'm showing you here in class how to do this. You go here. So the buttons help you to join anything that you want to join. So that is a good question. So make sure you bookmark our events page. That way you can come back again and again and find out what new events you want to join. Every event that's been listed there is completely free. So we have a lot of free training. I don't think you're going to find any other device or quantum biofeedback that has the level of training, the frequency of training, the level of engagement that we have. And so if you have the genius, you know, you made a good decision and other people who have gotten other devices and systems, they never hear from the people that they purchased from again. And so we're very proud that we have a lot of education. We really want you to get the most of this. We want you to use it every day or as much as you want to use it. So on that note, we're going to have more training today about the new version of the Genius, which is still technically called the beta version. And we're going to talk about the new Quanta capsule. So it's not really a new Quanta capsule, but the developer has made some upgrades to the capsule that I want to talk to you about. So warm welcome, everybody. Some people are still coming in after the hour. Warm welcome to you. Thank you for being here. So I'm just going to review what we just talked about on the calendar. Remember, you can go to the calendar to register. Click those buttons. Click the buttons. They take you right to the Zoom training. Okay, Frequency of 528, that's a podcast. Well, the difference between the podcast and what we're doing today is it's not always focused on the genius. 
But this week, it is going to be focused on the genius and biofeedback. Karen McDonald always joins me. So if you like her, we have her during the podcast sharing her, her vision, her ideas, information that she knows about, always very engaging. We only broadcast that to rumble.com because we talk about it anywhere. It's a, you know, really um, where we just uh, uncensored and we just can say anything and we often do. <clears throat> so on Thursday, we're going to talk about accessories. We're going to talk about remedy plates, wristbands, all that fun stuff. And we'll actually take some volunteers. So if you know somebody who wants a scan, come hang out with us on Thursday at the podcast. Again, whoops. Just want to enjoy, uh, invite you to a new event that we're having every other week called Prayer Circle. It's an opportunity for you to be prayed for, for us to pray together for global healing or anything you want. Maybe it's going to be a new home for you or abundance or you're scared of something. It's not necessarily associated with the genius, but we might use the genius in helping us to focus our intention. So we might read a spiritual passage or two, although it's technically non-denominational. We might read something from Christianity or Buddhism to inspire you. We just want to come together, have a, a, a low pressure space just for you to ask um, if you need something or we can focus our attention together and some people feel helpless. Let's bring our, our intentions together and pray that we get into a more stable space in this world of freedom and good health for everybody. <clears throat> so that's gonna be this Tuesday, and then it'll be in two weeks after tomorrow. Then it'll be in another two weeks, we'll have it again. So it's 10 a.m. or 1 p.m. I'd love it if you'd join me and help me to make this you know, launch with a bang and be a wonderful event. It's meant to be supportive to our community during a time when people are fearful, worried, sick, whatever it might be, concerned. So anybody can join and they don't have to be from the genius community. You can invite anyone you want who would like to be prayed for at that time. So 10 o'clock, one o'clock tomorrow, the 14th, hope to see you there. Tomorrow also at four o'clock Pacific, seven o'clock Eastern, we have our terahertz training. So if you're interested in getting a terahertz technology, but gosh golly, you don't wanna do it through a multi-level, you want support, you want really quality training, then check out our terahertz training on four o'clock, four o'clock on Tuesdays. And Benet, you know Benet from your orientation, from training, she joins us. It's really fun. We talked about, we talk about testimonials, how people are using it and the benefits that they're getting. Now today we're gonna to be talking about the genius new features and I'm gonna take your questions. So be sure if you have a question about the genius, something that you've been scratching your head about during the week, you didn't know what it was, you didn't know who to ask, make sure you ask me during this training. This is the place to bring your questions each and every week, not technical support questions, but something about the genius you didn't understand, you wanna know more about, guess what? We can answer those questions live in this class on Mondays. Now, the genius is still technically, the new version is technically still in beta, but it is much more stable than it's ever been. So if you've been dipping your toe in the water, you've still been on the old version, I do think this is a pretty good time. I don't know, we'll see when I do my demonstration today. It's a pretty good time to get into the new version. So maybe you have one device that you can upgrade to the new version, maybe you have another device that you can keep on the old version just in case of an emergency, but is may, way more stable and reliable and has some very admirable, exciting features. So we're gonna talk about them today. Now you may not know that the Quantic Capsule has been updated and also has new features. So we're gonna talk about that right now, the Quantic Capsule, and I'll show it in just a little bit. And we do need a volunteer, so if you want a scan today, be sure to request one with your date of birth and we will also send you some frequencies to your Quantic Capsule if you have one. So what changed on the Quantic Capsule? If you have a Quantic Capsule and it's been sort of gathering dust, you haven't used it for a while, make sure you click into the app store to update your app so into the app store or the google play store if you click or look up inside quantic capsule and you click on it it will automatically give you an updated version so go to your google play store look up inside quantic capsule you know if you have it downloaded and active or go to the app store and look up the inside quantic capsule and click on it it will update your version what's new the new piece to the quantic capsule is that the developers made a cool thing that you all requested over and over and over again if you choose frequency, shape, and form of sine, square, or sawtooth, and that is what is on your genius, 
when you export the Quanta capsule, that will now be what the client receives. So they will be able to play the frequency you intended for them, sine, square, or sawtooth on their device. So very exciting. I'm going to show you that on the Quanta capsule. Before we do that, I want to review the basic concepts of frequency, shape, and form with regard to the type of waveform. So let's look at that now, and then we'll go right to the actual device, the quantum capsule, and then the genius. So a sine wave, you want to, so you can see a sine wave down at the bottom. A sine wave is something that's uh, that our body produces very normally and naturally. So our sort of our ideal or optimal rhythm of our body will be in the form of a sine wave. So a brain wave, the heart rhythm, they're going to be in the form of sine. And you can see the regular sort of the peak, right, of the amplitude and then the trough going down. They're very equal. There's a lot of sort of um, smoothness, right? There's sort of like sort of a lot of coherence when you even just look at the pattern of the sine wave. So when you know, when you play the genius, you fall in line sort of with what you're listening to. We equilibrate. This is a, a concept of entrainment. We're going to become um, sort of melded into the frequency that we're listening to. So if we want someone to fall back in line with their normal, optimal physiological function, then we would choose the sine wave. So if we want them to come back to good body function, good liver function, good heart function, just overall maximizing their physiological function, then we would choose the sine wave. So now you can choose it with intention if you want. Okay, remember every single person, all right, so it appears that the three-day basic class just gives you to a Zoom link. Yes, Missy, you can just register for your Zoom link. That's totally fine for right now. That's the registration page that we have. I just wanted to get the ball rolling. So if you see a registration page, just register for that. Then you'll get a reminder that you come to the class on Tuesday. So everybody just register. That's totally fine. Joy, I see you volunteered. Wonderful to see you here. And so Marlene, anyone who's technical support questions, please send us a message, support at, and you might be surprised, make sure you use geniusbiofeedback.com, not the other inside health, although if you want to, that'll go over to another support, you're totally welcome to do that, but support at geniusbiofeedback.com. So, oh, it's not a technical support question, actually, Marlene, this is a good question. I couldn't keep my second device on the old version when I upgraded um to the new version on my main device you can't register it goes straight to zoom okay we'll have to correct the link so so call back later <laughs> at the website maybe in about two hours and we'll get the link corrected but thank you for letting me know okay thanks you guys for letting me know about that we'll just have to wait to register for the tuesday get excited about it get excited about the basics class but we'll come back and we'll get you a proper registration just can't do it at this moment Okay, so then on, I couldn't keep my second device on the old version when I upgraded to the new version on my main device. So Marlene, let me just say a couple of comments about this really quickly. First of all, um, there's no parity between these two. One does not communicate to the other. So something when you upgraded, I understand what you may have done is you may have just gone to the new version. So in that case, send us a support email, send us a request on the support email, and we'll show you how to revert back to the old version. Okay, I'm real sorry about the registration for Tuesday, but we'll definitely get you proper links ASAP. Now I wanna to talk to you about another waveform in the frequency, shape, and form, which is called the square wave. So you use the square wave when you're working on infections, parasites, bacteria, viruses they typically use a square wave in rife applications and um, different rife machines so you can see how the square wave looks it goes up then it has keeps that steady frequency for a while it goes way down keeps this lower frequency for a while goes way up and something about the square wave specifically seems to be suitable when you're running hertz frequencies for different types of infections 
Then there is the sawtooth wave. So the sawtooth wave is great for breaking up stuck patterns. You can even see it almost looks like something that would be great at sort of breaking up. You wouldn't re really be able to get very used to the frequency before it sort of has this jagged breaking down to another frequency. Then you go up and it brings you right back down. So it kind of keeps you guessing. So if there are physical adhesions, right, from past surgery or something, something tight, you know, fascia, connective tissue, you know, posture issues. You can think about the sawtooth wave, stuck emotional patterns, great sawtooth wave. So I think it still has the alternating as well. So in the waveform, both in the genius and on the capsule, you could also do alternating. Now the developer has recommended alternating as the default. That way you get the benefit of having all three of the waves going through a different loop. So you get some square wave, some sine wave, some sawtooth wave. So that's, I wanted to review that because now it's available in the quantum capsule. You can be more intentional about your choice of what type of waveform you want to send to your client. All right, now I may be able to correct that link or at least give you that link. So keep your questions coming. This is a time really for your questions. So when you have questions, you can bring them to the Monday class. So pardon us over here. So yeah, you can put them in the Q&A. You can put them into the chat, wherever you want to add your questions. We will have that Tuesday event. We will have the link cor corrected. I'm even gonna see if I can get that link um, into, let's see if we have it here. If we, if we can just get it into the class today. And there we go. All right, so we're gonna be able to get this link to those of you who are anxious to get registered. And thank you for alerting me to that so I can just get you this link right now. So let's make sure I have the right day and time before I send it over to you. So February 21st at 12 o'clock Pacific. And there we go. All right, so here is the link for Learn the Genius. Okay, it's gonna be Learn the Genius is the name of the course. And there is the link. So now we have that. And you guys have some great questions here that we're gonna to get to in just a moment. Okay, I'm gonna bring up the new Quanta capsule. So we're gonna talk about that as well. And then we'll go over to the Genius and we'll do a, a mini scan in just a moment. So keep your questions coming. And remember, as you're going through your week, hey, I have a question about this. Just bring it to the class. Remember, you know, when you ask a class in, when you ask the question in class, you benefit everybody. And probably if you have that question, probably somebody else has been sitting on that question and wondering about it. So we really appreciate it. Bring your very best questions. That would be something the group would really benefit from. And you're doing a great service to the group. I remember a long time ago, going back to 2011, 2012, when I first got what you, was the quantum infinity at the time, and even coming to class at that time and asking the trainer and just being like, oh, they, they read my question. And it was exciting to get it answered. So ask your question. It's exciting for me to answer your question. So here's the um, quantum capsule. I, I think the quantum capsule is one of the most amazing parts of our um, what we have to offer with the genius because it gives you as the practitioner something wonderful to be able to um, utilize, earn money, have your practice, send people personalized frequencies. And so when you go to this menu bar or navigation bar right here, when you download the new version, you're going to see something brand new. And so the new is this frequency shape and form as we've been talking about. So make sure you check it out. Basically, you don't really need to educate your client about this unless you want to. I think the developer had to make it available on both displays in order to be able to, to make sure that it sends the, the same waveform. So you don't need to tell people to make their choice here. You could if you want to, but basically the same form is going to be here so that it can play the same sounds that you choose to export. And so here's the sine wave square sawtooth alternating that we just talked about. Now, if you don't say anything to your client, they're not gonna know any better. They're not gonna know they can go in here and change it unless you'd like to take the time to educate them then. But I think he just needed to put the same sort of elements on here as he has on the genius. But now you can know that when you send it, that frequency shape and form will be the same 
as whatever you have chosen. So that's it. There's going to be other changes to the quantum capsule that are going to make the quantum capsule better and better, and we'll kind of update you as those get added. <clears throat> Okay, let's go ahead and see what some of your questions are here, and then we'll get the genius here. Um, all right. All right, so that you come to prayer circle to get the prayers. So just come to prayer circle. Come to prayer circle if you can. We're, that's going to be the best place to get your prayers answered. Uh, please put the square wave visual up one more time. What was that? From, okay, Burkana, we'll see if we can do that. Um, I would like to look at entangled insights to find out the root cause of the issue. Okay, that's a good one. Okay, Christine, you get the five stars for the best question of the morning so far. When imprinting, does the wavelength matter as imprinting solfeggio tones? What should the wave be? When imprinting, does the wavelength matter? All right, let me just think for a second. I've never seen that the wavelength is going to matter one way or the other. I would just sort of think about your intention for what you're imprinting, what you ultimately want the upshot to be. So if you're trying to basically help the person to be more healthy, then choose the sine wave. All right. All right, the link in the chat only opens to the Zoom, no place to register. Oh, I know why that is. Okay, I totally know why. You know, Zoom has some real quirks that make it, gosh golly, make it a, a, a little bit of a trick to use. And it, it's not always my favorite. We're looking at some other platforms to broadcast from for that reason. So I know exactly why this happened. And I'm just going to thank you for letting me know that. So everybody who's on here at the moment, you're, you can go back to that link in just a moment. I just need to change one little old thing. Let's see if we can do that. And it's just going to say, I just need to change it to registration required. Registration required. Fantastic. Now that's saved. So now when you go back, you should be able to do that. So go back to that link and try to register. That way you'll get the reminders um, for, you know, hey, it's starting at this time, starting in a day, it's starting in an hour. So anybody who tried to jo join our Learn the Genius special event happening on Tuesday, starting at noon, thank you all for helping me to get this fixed. So now it's fixed. You should be able to register, and that way you will get reminders. So go back to the link re-click on the link and see if you have that experience that now it is working properly. Thank you very much for your help on that. Okay, so let's go ahead. Okay, somebody says I don't have the waveform on my capsule. That means you have to delete your capsule. Just go ahead and delete it and then go back to the Play Store, go back to the Google Play Store, go back to the Apple Store, the App Store, and re-download it. When you re-download it magically, you're going to see that frequency, shape, and form. All right, so thank you so much. So we're now we're registered. That's great. All right. So, okay, if you're in the hospital, have someone else attend the prayer circle. It's just that the prayer circle is you can see how many events we have and i'm like i'm involved in all the events so please we just we just want to make it as in the moment as possible so get this if you're in the hospital get the zoom on your phone um which we i'm praying for you right now i want you to know, have somebody else come in your in your stead and ask to pray for you just please don't put one more thing on our plate it's just really hard i just we just don't have the capacity to do it god bless and and i'll definitely be praying for you just reflexively anyway Okay, so uh, Karen, I don't know if this is coming from you. Are you the secret Zoom user? Can the, do you think the quantum capsule will ever be less expensive? So I actually do want to know why you're asking that. Are you asking it because of the purchase price you're buying as a practitioner? Are you saying that your client does not want to pay for it? You know, you want to really think big picture, even if it was $10 less or if it was $20 less or whatever it might be. You don't want necessarily the client to think that they are paying for it. You really want to think greater. 
And I, we talk about this all the time in the business membership, which you may, you know, you can join the business membership. You could stay for a few months, see if you like it, stay for a month. I would really recommend that if you're interested in growing your business, you become a part of the business membership where we really focus on all of that. The reason I'm saying that is you want somebody who's going to sign up for six months. And when they pay you in advance for six months or three months, or maybe even two months, you give them the capsule for free. And then on your end, you know, you buy the quantum capsule. It's the cost of doing business. It's the investment because they're going to pay you maybe $600 for six months. And that would be a very, very low. It's like $100 a month would be low. But when they pay $600, then you are willing to pay the $65 for their capsule. I want you to really think like a successful business person who maybe, you know, makes five figures, six figures from your biofeedback practice. And that's totally possible. And we talk about how to do that in the business membership. All right. Okay. I was just curious. Okay, thanks. I should join the business membership as I am more trained. Okay, Karen, you're identified as yourself today, but somebody, I don't know who the Zoom user is, you're anonymous and that's no problem. I just can't say your name. Okay, the secret person is Nancy. Okay, thank you. <laughs> okay, gotcha. All right, so everybody registered, fantastic. Um, great, go over Sonic Signature. If only I knew what that was. Um, <laughs> functional zones. Hey, Christine, you're coming with the good questions today. The functional zones and the entangled insights. I love it. This question, Audra, I'm not sure I'm going to be able to answer your question. She's asking it from her S21 Ultra. I love it. It says, um, if you're considering questions about libraries, I have a concern. Whenever I select individual or multiple libraries to assign to a person's scan, it displays a quick blip on the screen, but I don't know where the library lands. Would it display in the Progressive Insights or should I have it moved to a tray? So what I'm going to do, Audra, is I'm actually going to unmute you so you can talk with us because I have no earthly clue what you're talking about. Um, and we will try to bring up the libraries in just a moment. So let's um, unmute you so you can talk with us. So um, Audra, educate us a little bit. What is it that you're referring to there? Hi, how you doing? Good. So, good. <laughs> it's been a while. I've been very busy, so I haven't been able to get on this. No, uh, that's good. Being busy is good. Hopefully it's your a successful type of busy. <laughs> yes. But um, when I go to, um, now I'm losing my train of thought. When I go to select the library um, and I go to here and I have someone's data up on my screen, so I don't want to lose that, I, and I can't go back to the steps. But from the space of which we select our actual libraries, and we all right, let me let me get let me get there first. Okay, yeah, um, that would be me, great. That would be better. Yeah, let me just bring up the genius so we can look at it together. Okay. And let's yeah, let's look I'm, at it. Let's have it up. Well, it's coming back on the screen, hopefully. Um, and let's go ahead and take a look at it together so that we can really understand as we're talking about it, what's happening. And you're talking about this in the new version, right? Mm hmm Yes. Okay, fantastic. I have a client who's deciding whether or not to do a subscription, so I wanted to stay here. Please, I didn't want to lose them off my screen. Okay, perfect. Now let's start from the beginning. So what is the question? Oh, you know what? I wasn't actually doing that. So you're you're going to the library and then you're scanning them first and then you're what selecting is it, the ones that you want. My dear, what is it that you're trying to achieve? Tell me what you're trying to do and let's try to I'm reverse trying to be able to. I'm trying to be able to select various um, libraries to add specifically to an individual scan. Okay. Because of the way our system is created, it, it just does not lend itself to that as being a busy practitioner. And I know what you're talking about, but I really don't recommend that you do this individual ad. I, I really recommend that you use the search function. Why would you not want to just add all your libraries and just use the search function as you want to find those libraries for the client? 
And that's perfectly fine. I That's what I just need to see what steps I'm not doing correctly. I, I don't mind doing it that way. Either. You mean, let's, let's take a recent client. What, For example, what libraries would you be looking for for that client? I was approaching detoxing. Okay, so let's just slow everything down. So now I'm just going to use, this is a great opportunity to use to show what's happening. We use this little triangle right here. It's the new drop down. Then we make sure that our button is depressed on library because I like to search by library. So make sure that this is showing as highlighted. We then use our search bar function right here. And now we type in detox. And now we get all of the detox libraries showing. Um, there we go. And especially when we leave a space, it's even more specific. So now you will instantly have all the libraries you're looking for, and you will mm -hmm. also have um, the ability to now they're already pre-tested. So you just, can just go in and explore them. So tell me now what, what are we missing or what, what other questions do you have? Okay. One of two things is happening. Either I have a, a glitch in my system or um, do you have to, when you go to the libraries, do you have to press the scan button first? Yes, you always them. have to do a scan. Yeah, when you go, and that's, so let me just that's show you what I wasn't doing. Okay, you have to go into custom libraries and then not every time, only one time. So just have to, in the session, you only have to do it one time. So I always try to do it at the beginning. I might be talking to the person, like taking their history, rapport, asking them questions about what's going on with them. And then I'm sort of slyly behind the scenes, I make sure I'm doing my system overview scan. And then I'm doing my custom library scan because I know it might take a, a minute or two. Okay. So now you have the ability to search for absolutely anything that you want, but I wouldn't do it by trying to go add to client and add those individual libraries because you'll be there all day. Okay. I still, I think there's, yeah. Try okay. that, try that this week and then come back if it's still not clear or if you need more assistance with it. Okay. And just one more thing, women, I'm sorry. So for, are you doing the uh, library search from the system overview? Where are you grabbing that from? I know okay, it's titled well, library over top. Let's go through the steps. So you're in system overview. That's for your basic panels. So that's going to scan every time. There's about 27 of the basic wellness panels that you see on your genius. You understand that concept, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, your I got it down at custom libraries. There it yeah, is. your custom libraries live separately. So you see them in system overview, but you have to tap. Why, why they appear in system overview is interesting. They don't really belong there. But anyway, they kind of have to be in order for you to get to the next step. Then you go here. You have to always do a begin analysis. It has to scan all the libraries. It doesn't really take that much longer to scan 10 libraries versus 1,000 libraries. Um, so now they're scanned and then you use the new triangular little drop down that little hat will drop down and then you can either you could search through all the libraries, which means it's going to search the, the word in all the sub libraries. I personally don't like to search that way. So I use library and then I search within the actual library name. Anything I, else? I, that I, we're missing? I got it. I, I got it. I, I just yeah. I was just having a brain fart, and for some reason, I don't know what was going on. I could never get that whole process together, so I'm writing the steps down now. That's what their classes are for. I'm glad you asked, Audra. Probably somebody else was confused about that, so thank you. All right, perfect. And I'm glad you're keeping busy, Audra. I know you're super successful, and you're very, very good at what you do, so thank you so much for that, for being a wonderful part of our community. Okay. Okay, I've tried to get the handout PDFs, but I can't get them. So um, again, for technical support, it'd be better if you came to us. It's not really the most useful question, but let's go to some of the new functions. So when you go to your genius, right, you do a regular scan, a lot of the things look the same. The appearance is different on the new version. So when you go to the new version, everything really is basically the same in the system overview, just a little bit of a different color. Now let's talk about some of the things that you do see when you log in. So when you log in, you see this little cap right here, right? Another little triangle. And when you drop down on that, it will give you some ability to have some 
reports which are like um, bar graphs. So let's go ahead and look at the overview. It'll give you this overview and the body. It will give you this overview, how much is in green, how much is in yellow, blue, or red. And then it'll give you another one, the biofield. Yeah, I don't think these are, I think these still have glitches. I'm gonna to talk to the developer today. Maybe you've noticed that. Then it gives you in the mind, it gives you these statistical results, how much is in green, how much is in red, how much is in blue. Now, personally, how much value I ascribe to these reports, I don't know. I, I, I don't, you know, maybe if one of you wants to share, if you find these helpful, I'm interested in hearing how you find them helpful. And then I haven't actually seen this. Let's look at the custom. So in the custom libraries, this is, all right, I'm not gonna comment on this. So then it gives you the custom libraries report, then it gives you the formats, the user's voice, that's probably looks like it's in development. Um, doesn't look like it has a graph or maybe it takes a while to, to jump in there, I'm not sure. Um, gonna have to write that down, make a note. Need to discuss with the developer. Okay, next topic new in the new new version right which is technically the beta version you can go from system overview to general overview by tapping one time right here so we're going to go to general overview now it will load oh, lord give me strength okay it doesn't let's just try to go ahead and get do begin analysis because it should actually have an alternation between there we go. Okay. So now it is scanning all of the libraries. It's scanning all the libraries, including the custom libraries. So for this particular person, which we didn't really, this is just a sample person that we put in here, but if it was a real individual, it's just getting late in the hour and I want to make sure we cover everything, then that might be an aha moment when we see root canal harmonizing. That might be the aha moment. The thing about general overview is it's able to scan a very significant amount of information in a short amount of time. And it's going to sort of serve you on a silver platter what might be some of the very most important things to that person that they could never know about. And even if you're very, very smart in natural health, you might never be able to put the pieces together. So this sort of serves you up something about you know, something about the inside of the, the upper arm, something about cholesterol, something about doing a daily sesame oil massage, some, something about Bell's palsy. And what we can do is we can actually take the top 50 items and put them into the main hold tray. So we want to add the top 50. And then we can actually go to general overview and tap one time and then it basically will give us the lowest items. And so these are the lowest items. And now it does go down to one. And so now something about maybe the intestines, maybe the intestines have not been working properly. Something about, I'm trying to find something that could be helpful here. Something about the DNA. My DNA is more filled with light than ever. So it could be a very important affirmation. Um, something about let's see the lymphatic system you might see all types of patterns when you move through here now the developer is thinking about changing the scale of these numbers because when you look through here you will see a lot of repeating numbers that is because the whole thing goes on sort of this um this scale you know from one to seven 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 and when you sort of break it down there's only so many numbers that you can apply to there's something like 60,000 items so the developer may work with a scale like from zero to 20,000 so it will help to make these numbers more relevant because you're just going to see a whole bunch of ones and a whole bunch of twos but that's basically how the data sort of fleshes out across zero from 777 when you have so many items that you're testing here we might be testing up to 60,000 items so then we could actually take the lowest ones that's interesting bell's palsy comes up again here so you will if you look through the the top 20 items or the top 50 items you will start to see very interesting patterns so now we have 100 items now if you're new to our community this could be a very easy way to get started and on the youtube channel we did a screen recording to walk you through this um, 
I have to search for it, but I think it just says general overview, using the general overview for your first session. And so then you could just go in, you could scan your voice, you could go system overview, general overview, and just choose those top 50 items and the bottom 50 items. And then from there, you could go right into progressive insights. And then you could easily have a session and the session is done. You just go into progressive insights. You just choose the high items. And um, Palo Santo on the third eye for the clearing of the emotion of feeling derailed or in limbo. I say that's kind of funny because um, so many people in the past, you know, the, the, the thing started right three years ago, really. And since then, haven't you felt a little bit derailed or sometimes delayed in things that you're trying to do? That's an interesting one that comes up. That's one of the um, emotional clearing uh, patterns, uh, you know, emotional clearing with essential oils by Carolyn Mine. So then some other things, you know, I would pay really close attention to these things that come up because these things are the most important out of every single frequency that you could test. These are among the most important and, uh, and above and beyond that, these are the highest items. So if I just at a glance, I'm probably seeing about 30 items that are extremely important. So that is a really easy, super fast way. The whole goal of biofeedback is to find the frequencies that are most important for that person, that are most you know, relevant for that person that will cause them to have the biggest shift, the biggest transformation. And we can't always determine it with our mind because our mind can be so subjective. We think it should be this way. This is very objective and allows the system to come up with the most important information for that person. So that general overview is one of the really wonderful breakthrough things that the developer did. Now, if you wanted to have less in here, what you could do is you just go remove library. What it does is it removes any items in the custom library. And so now you have significantly fewer things that you're testing and you may just want to see what these top items are. It sort of gives you a little bit of a different view. This is only testing anything from system overview. So anything in that system overview, the 27 wellness panels, this is gonna show you the top items. I still think it's, you know, it's interesting. Bone set is gonna be repairing a bone. Pine is about guilt. So now they've got guilt and sorrow and they've got some um, androgens. So maybe they need some nettles. You know, you look at all this and then you can tap, I think you tap either here or here, and now it's going to flip it to the lowest items. Let's just try it right here. So yeah, so now tips it to the, switches it to the lowest items. So this is another thing where you could just get the top items, you get the blues, you get the reds. You, I think with this one, let's see if it gives you the option. So it does give you the option for the top 50, but in this case, what I would probably do is let's um, lift up the tray for a moment and let's clear this tray now if we only wanted to choose from the top wellness panels we could actually go here and what i would do is i would get the top red items oh that gives us a hundred items wow and then i would get the only the blue items oh it gives us 200 items that's interesting so maybe you would do the top 50 and the lower 50. Let's actually go back again. I didn't realize it would do so many items. I thought it would actually do less. Let's clear that tray again. And instead, let's, let's just do the, the top 50 and let's do the bottom 50. Now you won't have any of the custom libraries, but that's sort of a different test. You could do the full library scan and then you could just do the ones in the, the um, system overview and then you could compare and contrast. And you know, it's interesting that disappointment um, comes up so high because we also saw, saw sorrow and guilt coming up. So that's kind of would be fascinating, it, you know, for the client really to see. Um, all right. All right. So let's see. All right. Now, Jen, Jen R, I think you might be talking about a glitch. So if you're talking about a glitch, then please send me a message support at geniusbiofeedback.com. Is the basics where to begin to heal? Is that purchasable? Yes, it's under the basics 
I think it's just called, if you put basics into the search bar and you'll see that there's, um, I think that library will come up, Rachel. If not, just send me an email. Okay, Margaret says, I have a few clients that really benefit from the bar graphs. It seems to suit the way that their brain works. Symptoms don't connect, but a bar graph changing helps. Go figure. So, Margaret, I know the developer would absolutely probably take you out to lunch and would love it because I've always just been like, I don't like the bar graphs. And I'm glad that you are benefiting from the bar graphs. And I'd love to, maybe if you shoot me an email, just tell me more about which ones you're using and which ones that you really like. I'd love to hear more about that. We'll certainly share that with the community. But I did, I'm glad you mentioned that because I want to show something else about the new before we're sort of done with for the day and I'll keep reading your questions is um, there's another report section. So first the bar graph. So let's sh show the one that kind of came out the best here, which I think was like maybe the body. Yeah. So the body shows a lot of green and yellow, which in a way, if you think about that, that's pretty healthy, right? Because they're not really showing a lot of red or blue. So in this case, they're showing sort of a lot of wellness as coming through being expressed by that system overview. And then I guess what I'd be curious about, Margaret, is how do you show them that they're making progress with this bar graph? So maybe you can let us know in the chat. We'd love to hear. I'm really glad that you're using them. You're getting benefit from them. Let's go here to the menu bar and let's look at another version of the reports. So we do have a report menu right here. Now this report shows a, a different type of a bar graph and what it's showing is sort of, I think the highest and the lowest that is coming up for the person in that particular area. So this is another thing that you could send to the person if you'd like to ex explain why it's coming up. I really need a pen on my desk here because what I'm seeing is um, some issues. Okay. All right. Fantastic. And so when we see this, we can also go to quick overview report, click here. Now, this is my favorite report. This is the one that I like. I like to send this one because what you can do, let's go ahead and see if we can do it as an email and what comes up. So they're going to see that they're going to be able to download that. And let's see what happens if we did it as a print. So, OK, if we printed it, then what they're going to get is they're going to get the date, the time, We've identified the following items of significance. This is the top red items. Now, you might not be totally happy with this because you're a much more sophisticated practitioner, but the reason this could be good is it gives them a flavor. It gives them a sample of what came up, okay? So something about the sulfeggios, the nogiase for gastrointestinal stuff, a cleansing remedy, an antioxidant, something for blood sugar, and it, it makes them feel like the report is they got something that's real. And of course, we just say it's energetic, and then they get a report about their energy. So let's actually do this when a little bit of a better view from here, um, not the printed version, but you can just see this a little bit better on the screen. Um, let's go ahead and see if we can do this. So I'm going to see if I can trying to remember that people have asked in the past for the screen to be bigger. It's just a little bit hard to believe it or not, um, logistically deal with this on the screen. Um, but anyway, so energy level, I think that this is, can be really relevant for, for clients that want to know, okay, I got a scan. I want to see something about my results on paper without being overly medical and so forth. So the estimation of your current energy levels for the day, the higher the score, the more energy you have for the day. So 90% pretty self-explanatory. Degenerative energy and estimation of the degenerative energy. This is the energy of oxidative stress, decaying energy from the cells through oxidative stress. So if they have degenerative energy, it often means that they're trying to heal from an infection, heal from an illness, heal from an injury, or they have something, some active metabolic process going on, diabetes, whatever it is. So you don't want to see a high <clears throat> amount of degenerative energy, or you want to see that the degenerative energy number get lower over time instead of higher. 
Now it says counterproductive energy, the estimation of the ability to convert your energy intake into a resourceful energy. The amount of energy your body spends on counteracting disruptive energies or imbalances. So it is very similar in some ways <clears throat> to degenerative energy because you're trying to sort of push your energy against something. So there's often something, maybe there's a toxin or a food allergy or something that you're trying to work your body, um, you're trying to experience and energy to correct that within your body. So that is kind of the counterproductive energy. And then another one that's pretty self-explanatory is toxicity. So an estimation of the inner terrain, toxicity is a level of waste in the body which has not been eliminated. Toxicity can be in your tissue, body, and so forth and so forth. So you wanna see that number go from higher to lower over time. And it's gonna be interesting to see if you run detox panels, if you try to get their gut cleaned up, if that helps the toxicity number to go down. So these are great reports that you can send, you know, to your client. And that's really sort of new with the new version. Now, um, the other thing that's new, of course, is the aura. And I've really grown fond of the aura over time. I think it's really a cool innovation. So let's see what some of your other comments are. Um, Please explain more about remove the library function on the top right. Pam, there's not a lot to explain with that. I'll go back and look at it in just a moment. Not sure how you got the top 50 in the tray with one tap, or do we pull them down individually? All right, well, let's go back to that in a moment. We do have a full explanation of the new Aura, and I've talked about it in every class. Um, but the new aura is um, some layers. The different layers are related to the, the chakras of the body and the color meanings. And then in the guide that you can download, I've talked about what those meanings are. Um, the, the layer that's closest to the body is going to be that's the main issue that they're dealing with today. We want to look at the colors around the body? Are they clear colors? Do they have gray or black in them? Are they a very strong, vivid color indicating a strong vital force? Or are they kind of fuzzy? Are the rings above, do they make a clear closure? Or are they kind of looking like the person could be leaking energy? Those are the kinds of things that we've talked about. Um, what's great is you could print this for the person right on the spot. If you have an iPad, then most printers now are wireless and you can print right from your iPad to that printer, give them, maybe you put it in the mail for them. Um, maybe you get a color printer just for this purpose, great excuse to have a fun color printer and you send them and you just mark them up before and after. Remember, you're as much like, you know, running the genus, but also there are things around running the genus. This actually would be a great topic that can make the whole experience better for them. So you're also entertaining them. You know, they've defined like healers and, and, and doctors as sometimes you're just entertaining the client while the body is healing itself. And so what I'm saying is like, you could make this really cool. Like you could do a really nice color printout for the person People pay for that when they get the aura readings and send the before and after baby in the mail or a separate email. And then you could put both the before and after. Maybe you put it in Canva or something to make it nice. Maybe you get an assistant who does it. And so they really see, wow, my aura was this kind of green, fuzzy, weak thing before. And then after it was purple and blue and pink and all this, you know, all of the rings closed and I can see the difference that it's making. So think about those things. Now let's go ahead and exit out of the R and let's go back to these questions. You know, it's very easy for me because I do this every day and I can understand some of these things would be confusing. So let's go back to Pam's question. She said, what, what does that remove the library thing? And so what it is, let's get, see if we can get a spotlight on it, is what we're talking about. Let's see if we can make it larger here. Um, that would be sort of here like that and that there um, that's right here so remove the library when we right now it includes everything from system overview and custom libraries when we remove it we've removed everything that's in custom libraries and now we just have things that are remaining in the system overview 
So system overview is 27 wellness panels, and now those are the only ones that are included in the testing. When we actually add the libraries back, it will include everything that's in our personal custom libraries. So whatever custom libraries you've acquired, those will then be included in the testing. So let's add it back. We add it back and then there it is. Let's remove it. We remove it and then they're not included. So Pam, I hope that helps. Now there was another question from Deborah. We'll go a little bit long today. So Deborah, when you go to the plus sign right here, it gives you several different options. We, this is called the bulk drag of items. I think it could be named better. I'll try to think of something to suggest to the developer, but it tells us there are red items, yellow items, green items, blue items. So if you wanted all the red items to go into this tray here, you could choose red items. If you want all the yellow items, et cetera, and so forth. There's no, I can't think of any reason why I would include the yellow and the green, but sometimes I do, if I'm doing the solfeggios, I include all like blue, red, yellow, green, so forth. Now, there are two additional really cool things added to the bottom here. Add the top 50. So I'm gonna tap, add the top 50. Then I wanna do all the blues, which is basically going to be add the bottom 50. Now all of those are added, except are they? Or I must have done that before. Yeah, I did the same ones before. So let's clear it all so we can see them being added. So the top 50 items added. There you go. Bottom 50 is going to be all the low blues. Now they're added. And of course, we have 100 total. 50 plus 50 equals 100. All right. So I like to use the 50s when I want to listen to frequencies for a nap. Quick and easy, says Janine. Very cool. I'll be watching this again. Lots of good review. Fantastic. Does it really matter that much if there's more than 200 items in the main whole tray? It does not matter. It, if I gave the number of 200, it was just a recommendation because all of this, the energies and frequencies, Tammy, this is information. It's encoded information. Well, how much information can you really take in at one time? How much can your field take in at one time. So sometimes as a practitioner, as you evolve, you want to be sort of discriminating about how much you put into that tray, but it's not going to make or break anything. The only thing I can tell you is if you get to 300, 400 items, you might crash your system. So there's really no reason you need more than 300 in the main whole tray, but it's not going to break the person, hurt the person, anything. So you don't have to stick strictly to the 200 items. I love the bar graphs as well, says Karen. You can screenshot them with the off with the aura and you get a nice simple report that they're happy with. Yeah, you're trying to entertain that client. So I'm totally down with that. I can understand why you'd say it. I send the vitamins, minerals, and amino acids graphs. Let me see if I can go and look at that. How do you access just those? Um, you'll have to tell me how you you mean you do this one, um, Rachel, or do you actually choose exactly the bar graph you're trying to send? It helps the client to see the progress in the next scan. They're excited to have another scan to see the progress. My clients like the circle as well. Okay, I love and I love the quick report. That's great. Karen, are you sending screenshots via the, rather than email? The reason is we're working offline. Then Lorraine, if you're working online, just send screenshots. Okay, Margaret says, I send the bar graph by email each week before sending their new quanta frequencies. That's kind of interesting. They save them all and compare them. It works as a great reminder to provide a new voice and photo. Hey, Margaret, I like your spirit there. I like what you're doing. All right, so let's see. Is there a library for helping with infections? We have lots of those, Becky. You can go to geniusbiofeedback.com. You could put in cold and flu. You could put in the word infection. We have a whole series called Healing Hidden Infections. That's for candida, parasites, bacteria, viruses. And we have, if you put in the word virus, you can sign, find some of the virus. We have radionic ones, we have rife ones. If you want suggestions, Becky, send us an email support at geniusbiofeedback.com and both between myself and my assistant will come up with like five different recommendations for you. All right, so very good. Thank you everybody for um, participating and asking such awesome questions. Let's see if there's anything. Um, now, progressive insights, let's do really quickly, I'm entangled insights and progressive insights are different. So let's just show, example sort of in the last couple of minutes here uh oh 
something is getting ready to crash. I can almost tell things are slowing down. All right, let's look at today's stress right here. And I apologize that we weren't able to get to a volunteer today, but we just wanna make sure I got through this information. So for this particular person, we're gonna look at, I know I'll use this example often, but it's just the easiest one. Let's say that immune system might have been red or blue. We want to look at the immune system. We're going to tap on this line here. We make a nice hard tap. It brings us to the entangled insights. Let's see what we got going. Entangled insights, the purpose of it is to compare one particular item of information to another particular item of information, or we say it gets to the root cause. It tells us how these things are connected, and that can sort of help us to understand like what is causing the immune system to be activated or to be out of balance. So for that, we have a couple of different options. Let's see if we load them all. So there are groupings, and we have all the block flower essences, all bacteria, all cancer, all emotional, all fungus, headaches, homeopathic. So these are different groupings. So for the immune system, we could test against viruses, fungus, or for the immune system, we could find the best block flower essence, or we could find the best emotion. So let's see if we get the emotion. What would be the emotion related to the imbalance in the immune system? And let's see if we get any result for that. Okay, loathing, regret, awe, hope. So now it tells us that the emotions that are related to the particular type of uh, thing that's coming up for them. So we could choose just the red emotions and the blue emotions, and then we could do a progressive insights on that. Let's actually clear all of these. Let's try that again. So we get all the red ones and we get all the blue ones. And now we have sort of an emotional balancing that we could do. So for the person's immune system, we could now take that to progressive insights and find out even the top emotions that they're experiencing in relation to this stress they have on their immune system. So they're feeling apathetic, they're feeling sadness or disappointment. Um, and so now we could do an emotional wellness balancing. We could either do, either just do the high items or we could do all of the items. So, so that's really about, about entangled insights. Let's do one more. If we go to the immune system, we go back to the immune system, um, we can either do, so load all insights tap here. So that's gonna load all of them. Let's find out, I haven't checked this in a while. What's going on with the search function? So if we type in this, yeah. So the search function looks like it's working again. So this is gonna search everything within this. Now I will try to get this out in this week's newsletter. I'm gonna really try to get the newsletter out today, have it on my list as be priority. And what I'll do is I'll include, we have some really interesting documents. I did a great um, sort of secrets to using Entangled Insights. We'll try to get that document into the newsletter for you. And then we also have one which is everything that's included. It's a master PDF list of everything included in Tangled Insights. I'm gonna I'll, I'll do two things. I'll send it out in the newsletter, but I'll also post it to the blog article that we did for today. So if you just go back to the blog article that we looked at today, I'm going to put the Entangled Insights PDFs into that blog. So stay tuned for that. So geniusbiofeedback.com, learn menu, blog, look at today's blog post, and I'll put the Entangled Insights secret to Entangled Insights, and then a full list of everything that is in your Entangled Insights, not something you probably want to print out, but something you probably would want to have a PDF of, so you actually would know what to search for. So I know that Epstein-Barr is in here, so if I type in EBV, now I can check to see, okay, how does the immune system, is the cause of the stress in the immune system related to Epstein-Barr virus? And then it will kind of tell me there's only a 15% relationship there, so it's probably not related to Epstein-Barr. So then I could go back, I usually just, I think you have to go back, but maybe you can use the trash bin. I'm going to try to use the trash bin. So maybe is it related to cytomegalovirus? So cytomegalovirus is there. So let's go ahead and now is it related to, so is there a higher relationship to cytomegalovirus? Let's see if there's something there. And there's only an 8% relationship. So now I think we can use this little trash bin and it'll clear that. That was a good addition. So that's actually a new addition to our uh, genius. So thumbs up to the developer for doing that. So now um, let's go back to here, load all insights, and let's choose another group. So we could choose another group. How is it related? What is the top flower essence right now? Although you can kind of do this in other parts of the program. But what is the top flower essence 
relationship here. Now I don't see essential oils. Is essential oils removed from the, so now you can do all the essential oils like Heather. Let's do the trash again, load all. Is, is it my imagination or is the Young Living Oils not in here anymore? Does anybody, oh there, it's right there. Okay, so there we go. So now you can find the top um, Young Living Oil related to what is the what does the person need the most Young Living Oil for Okay, grapefruit, which is good for the liver, common sense, blue cypress, some people don't have enough common sense, and blue cypress, purification, that type of thing. So then, once again, you could put them in. Now, somebody said, what is the percentages? Okay, the percentages, you're looking for, when you're testing individually, you're looking for percentages, and I'm just going to put in the blue items as well, that are over 75%. But when you're looking at it like this, you're just looking for basically, okay, what's the highest one? So the percentage kind of explains, you sort of see that in the red line anyway. You know that the top red line is higher than the lower red line. So grapefruit obviously is higher than common sense, but now it's giving you a number score associated with it. So now let's go ahead and look at that. Okay, so citronella purification, sacred, so it's giving you another version of high to low, which is a different test, different from entangled insights. These are all different algorithms, but the strongest algorithm is really in progressive insights when you're trying to test for high to low. Um, and so you could just balance those high and then just play the frequencies. So, um, Christine, I think you asked about functional zones. We won't get to functional zones today, but can you come back next week and ask this question? I'll try to do functional zones at the beginning, but we did get to entangled insights and that's a really good um, question. So thank you everybody. When you're coming to Monday class, try to bring, bring the gravitas of your questions. Try to think of some good questions to ask in class. And how do we get your newsletter? Everybody on the list, basically on our general list, generally gets the newsletter. So if you're on our mailing list, if you don't think you are, Kelly, you're welcome to just email us and say, wait, make sure I'm, I'm added to the list. But basically it's just our news, our, our newsletter is our letter of the news with events that comes out um, every week. But sometimes I don't get it out every week, so that might be why you're not seeing it. But if you're not sure, then just email me. I'll be more than happy to, um, to tell you if you're on our list or not. So please, everyone, go to geniusbiofeedback.com and check out our events calendar. That's going to be really, really helpful. I'm just going to try to bring it up here quickly. Um, and just if you didn't see the events calendar, if you tried to register in the beginning, we had a glitch with the registration. So if you want to, I just want to make sure that you know where the events calendar is. Um, next week, definitely bring your, your best questions for the best class ever and we'll answer um, all of your questions. We do, you know, this is not the last time that we have to see each other before next Monday. We have a whole bunch of things coming up this week and next week, February is super busy with a lot of really exciting things coming up. So if you go to our events calendar, you're gonna see all of them. They're easy to see. Like tomorrow morning, we have a prayer circle, terahertz training, business membership, our podcast with Karen McDonald, and then starting, this actually has to be updated to say the 21st, 22nd, and 23rd, but starting Tuesday at 12 o'clock or 3 o'clock in Eastern time zone, it's going to be all learn the genius, learn about energy, learn about frequency, learn to how to talk about the genius, learn some exercises. There's going to be some homework. And so that'd be a really fun class. It's totally free. So invite your folks who are interested in getting the genius to this class as well. Now it does go to the Oh, geez, I don't think that's updated yet. So um, I apologize. I'm going to make sure that this is completely up updated. So right after class, I'll make sure that that link is corrected. Okay, so let's just see if there's anything final. All right, fantastic. Okay, thank you everybody for being trying to part of our genius community. Right away, this is going to be available on YouTube if you want to watch the replay. Thank you so much for being part of our genius community. Have a great rest of your day. Take care. Bye-bye for now.